I'm back with a new video. I usually talk about bicycles, but this video is going to be about the electric motorcycle. The fact is there is an Indian startup which I have been following for a long time. They had a very good looking motorcycle, but they had been kicking the can down the road so far and for so long that I thought that this would never happen. But they just released a video about three days ago about this ultraviolet motorcycle which apparently is already shipping in India. They have a plan to bring it to the European market and if the specs and the price are true then this bike is an absolute game changer so we have to look at this. This is a I think an Indian design. It's a very cool design it does look a little bit like a KTM Duke, if you are familiar with the bike. I do like that bike, that's a gasoline bike. KTM, to my knowledge, has no electric road bikes yet. They have some off-road stuff that they are doing electrically. But in any case, so the styling is a little bit uh, reminiscent of the Duke, as well as some of the Ducati and MV Augusta and other high-end naked bikes so it's definitely a very good uh, looking bike but the thing you want to look at is the price the starting price on this thing is three and a half thousand US dollars in Indian rupees of course now that's the price of a Brompton electric which is a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour in a range of about 50 miles per charge here at the very basic level we are talking about a top speed of around 100 miles an hour in the range of about 120 miles per charge and that's just the basic model instead of three and a half thousand dollars you can switch over to four and a half thousand dollars and get a bit more speed get a bit more range and and so these kind of numbers are kind of shocking I mean if this came to America at this price this would definitely wipe the floor if you can consider what we have in America but first of all what are Indian companies doing there is this other company which started out in colonial India it was a British company but uh, the bikes built in India for a lot cheaper the name is Royal Enfield you might have heard about them they have actually been quite successful on Western markets. They started launching with just a few motorcycles and they were kind of old-fashioned and not so exciting. But apparently they have made plenty of money because they have a ton of new models out and the bikes are good looking. I have checked what people say about the re reliability and durability of the product. It's definitely not on par with the Japanese German and American competition but for the price I mean at 650 they charge uh, $7,000 for so that's far far less from what you'd be paying for almost anything from Japan Germany or the US so let's look at what you could get for in terms of an electric sport bike there is in the Italian Energica they have been around for quite some time. It's it's a higher spec bike than the Indian Ultraviolet for sure. These bikes start at twenty seven thousand dollars a piece. The top speed is not going to be a hundred twenty hundred or hundred twenty miles an hour. It's going to be closer to hundred fifty miles an hour, but the price is seven times. So, getting thirty or forty percent more range or speed is not necessarily worth um, paying seven times as much. And so I'm not seeing these bikes in New York much at all. I don't think I've ever seen a single one of them on, on the street. Now here you can see the maximum speed, 150, great acceleration like a supercar, 2.8, 2.6, and a range that's not that far beyond the ultraviolet. I mean, the ultraviolet has... Uh, a range of maybe 120 so this Energica is going to give you an extra 8% it's almost the same range really and for $27,000 plus 
And then, of course, we have the Harley-Davidson electric that has been around for some time as well. I think I might have seen a couple of them in New York. The electrics are simply not taking off because the price is so high. People don't want to spend twenty-seven, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a motorcycle, at least not yet. Not in the Northeast. Maybe in a, in a warmer climate, especially where scooters and bikes have been accepted a long time ago, such as Southern Europe, France, Italy, Spain, countries like that. The one thing I like about the, and here is the price, $23,000, so it's above twenty. I really like the styling. They have not divorced the traditional Harley-Davidson, really cool American styling. And I also like the belt. The ultraviolet, and I think the Italian bike, the Energica as well, is they are still using chains. What we are seeing here is the belt, which is really nice. The combined range, well, it's only 95 in the city, so it's even less than the ultraviolet. Uh, supercar acceleration. So the rest of it is cool. I would say I would take the Harley over the Energica, but the ultraviolet is an absolute game changer. I mean, what are you going to get for four thousand dollars? You can get a, a Brompton electric. It would cost you twice as much to get a Vespa Electrica. And if you look at the specs, uh, the specs are pathetic. You are looking at a top speed of forty-five miles per hour. Now that's not gonna. That's not gonna change the game. I have actually seen a few people on these bikes in New York. It's not selling like hotcakes. It's really just uh, for the early adapters. And I think Piaggio should be recognized for at least pushing the technology. But the main deal in buying a bike like this is to be an early adapter and to have beautiful Italian styling. I really like the Vespa style and I support the company. I think it's a great company. But uh, at this price range, it's just most people are most people are going to go for the electric version. So I'm giving you a number of links below. Check out this bike. If this comes to the U.S., it's going to be an absolute game changer. And I might just get one, even though I'm not typically into sports bike, sports bike electric or gasoline. But at this price point, who could resist? This is it for the current video. And I'll be back.